Hey, Matt Blackett here, and this incredible instrument that you see before you is from the Cole Clark Company, and it has a rather unusual name that is the AN2EC-BLBL-HUM, but you can call it Angel, okay? And what it is, is a beautifully made, beautiful sounding acoustic guitar with a twist. And that would be this Lawler humbucker that you see on the front of it here, in the bridge position, where a humbucker does us rockers the most good. So everything that you just heard is all this guitar, okay? I'm running the Lawler humbucker through a Kemper profiler. I'm running the acoustic side of it uh, direct into my DAW, okay? So we have two outputs here, and you can send those, a three-way switch that allows you to access the magnetic tone, the acoustic matrix that's in there, and uh, you can blend them when they're in the middle position, okay? So let's take a look at the cosmetics of this thing. This is a sustainably sourced Australian blackwood that makes up the top, back, and sides of this guitar. And the people at Cole Clark are actually very candid at what they were going for with this, okay? It was not to necessarily make the world's greatest sounding acoustic guitar when you're just sitting in a room with an acoustic, okay? It's to make it the best sounding amplified acoustic that you can imagine, and they wanted to add in these electric tones as well, okay? Other companies have tried this. Nobody's tried it exactly this way that I've ever seen, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the results. So the acoustic side of it is actually a three-way system that consists of an under saddle pickup, a face sensor, and then also a condenser mic. And they're all mixed in such a way uh, with the frequency shelved, uh, the crossovers in there. I'm explaining this poorly, but essentially it's to maximize what each part of the system does best. And I find it to be a very forgiving acoustic tone. But so before we even get to more of that, let's go back to what they were talking about, which is how this guitar actually sounds in the room. And I must admit, I really like the way it sounds just unamplified, just playing it as an acoustic guitar. It's a really nice full sound. Might not be as loud as a D28 or something like that, but that's okay. It's still a very pleasing sound for just noodling around when you're not plugged in. But then when we add in what this pickup system can do, it's a very balanced tone and it really does not present any of the things that kind of bug me about amplified acoustics. The splattery, pingy, quacky sounds that uh, we all have heard, okay? This one doesn't do that to my ears, and it's a really simple system to operate. My favorite setting is just everything straight up and essentially flat on it, and that's what you're hearing right now. So now I was surprised that the Lawler humbucker could react so much like an electric guitar pickup with acoustic strings. And I don't know exactly what they had to do to make that possible, but it, it works. And so again, here's what you're hearing. Okay, so it is a very comfortable neck for me. It's a neck that reminds me a lot of and next I have on electric guitars. It's, the strings on it are pretty beefy, and so it's not easy for me to get into full shred mode on it, but I can do what I feel like I need to do, and uh, it's a, just a really, really fun guitar to play. Okay, so I want to go ahead and do a little bit more of uh, the mixing and matching of acoustic and electric parts with this to give you a better idea of what it's capable of.
Everything we've done so far has been to focus on either exclusively the amplified acoustic sound or the electric sound in isolation. But it is possible to blend the two by having this three position toggle in the middle position. So I'm going to start off with just the amplified acoustic sound and then blend in more and more of the magnetic pickup. <laughs> So if you've ever wanted to have one instrument that can deliver great acoustic sounds and great electric sounds, you owe it to yourself to check out the instruments from the folks at Cole Clark Guitars. Mm -hmm. 